What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another first reaction video. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I sure did. And a movie that I watched with my family on Thanksgiving after we had our meal was Let Him Go. If you're unaware of what Let Him Go is, Let Him Go is a new movie. It stars Kevin Costner and Diane Lane. They are ranchers when their son tragically dies. Their grandson is now into this abusive family. The daughter-in-law marries an abusive man. He hurts her. He hurts the grandson. And then they mysteriously run off somewhere in North Dakota. And so Kevin Costner, Diane Lane, they're very concerned about the safety, especially of the grandson. And so they venture out to rescue him before any more harm gets done. So this is a movie, I remember seeing it advertised in theaters when I saw Tenet, and I was really intrigued by the movie. I really was. Kevin Costner, Diane Lane, I mean, they were in Man of Steel together, so I know they have the star power and the chemistry to sell this movie. And this is a movie where I definitely was excited to see it because, you know, 2020, not too many new movies coming out. Theaters are, are kind of struggling right now, so whatever new movies coming out in theaters, I want to try to support it as best as I can. So, yeah, Thanksgiving, best day to do that. Let Him Go, I thought it was a pretty good movie. I think it starts out really slow. Uh, the movie takes a while to get going, you know, building up to you know, how evil this family is and building up to the whole drama and even the journey of the whole thing but once the story intensifies it is very riveting from start to finish i think what helps are the performances especially kevin costner diane lane diane lane i would actually say is the standout of the whole movie i think she commands the scenery pretty much she's kind of the one taking charge she was the one that saw the abuse taking place and she's the one that's pretty much ropes Kevin Costner. His character, uh, maybe I should mention, he plays a retired lawman. And so he ends up getting back on the action to rescue their grandson. So I enjoy the performances very well. Both Kevin Costner and Diane Lane have really good chemistry. And like I said, the movie does very much intensify once we see the wee boy family, the family, the abusive family that has the grandson and the daughter-in-law and man they can get pretty nasty in this movie and some of the actors playing these family members are they do a great job of just showing how nasty that these characters can get especially the mother the mother was a standout in this entire movie i don't remember the actress who played her but i thought she was a standout as well the movie has beautiful cinematography. It has a very western type atmosphere to it while having kind of a modern, or in this case set in the 60s, aesthetic with some of its settings like in Montana and North Dakota. So there's some great atmosphere to this movie. And the score in this film I thought was pretty good too. Come to find out Mike Giacchino scored it. Great composer. He does a lot of excellent scores. So there's a lot of good aspects to this movie. I think my issue with the film, uh, one, it has a pretty slow beginning. It takes a while to get going. And two, the story's nothing much to write home about. It's not breaking any new ground or anything like that. But at the end of the day, it still does its job very well. And if theaters are open in your area... This is definitely a movie worth checking out. It's really interesting because some of the reviews I've seen of Let Him Go say the movie especially works if you're 50 years old or older. I think because of the actors they got in the film and pretty much the premise of the movie, I guess. But I'm almost 25 years old and I still got a kick out of this movie. So I think this movie will work depending on the what type of mood you're in. If you want to see this very entertaining revenge thriller type movie with a western atmosphere, Let Him Go is a solid movie to watch. And like I said, if it's playing in your area, it's definitely a movie worth checking out to give the theater some love if it is safe to do so. 
I'm going to give Let Him Go a 4 out of 5 stars, and on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 76 out of 100. So that wraps up my thoughts on Let Him Go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I usually do first reactions whenever I see a new movie, either in theaters or on streaming. Let Him Go is currently in theaters, and if theaters are still open in your area, I think it's a solid movie worth checking out. If you've seen Let Him Go, let me know down in the comments below, would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button to see more content, and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!